Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at how to get around the issue of hard drive cable failure in the mid-2012 generation 13-inch MacBook Pros. Uh, so here you can see, as we're zooming in on a shot of the pic computer, uh, we're going into the hard drive cable in the centre of the screen. Now all the other cabling runs across the top of components or top of the PCB. However, the hard drive cable routes differently going under the hard drive and going in underneath and against the machined aluminium unibody of the MacBook Pro. The problem with this, as we can see as we zoom in on the picture, is that inside the chassis is machined metal and while this looks quite nice, it's not got the same finish as the outside of the machine. So you can see you have these machining marks in the metal. Um, the cable itself splits into two parts, one which goes under the drive to the front of the machine to the IR sensor and the other part which goes to the SATA connector for the hard drive. Now the problem here is the IR connector version uh, strip has a adhesive on the back of it to hold it in place whereas the cable which runs to the hard drive so that the hard drive can be removed does not. What this means is therefore the cable can move against this machined slightly abrasive metal surface uh, and this can start wearing away at the insulation on the cable and here we can see the cable from the laptop and if we look at the second trace there is just this slight mark where it's worn through the coating uh, and this was causing the machine to basically sit on the pinwheel and refuse to load into the operating system uh, and give other similar problems um, and basically rendered the machine unusable. The hard drive itself is fine and this was actually the second cable that this machine had had problems with. Uh, it had previously been replaced around about six months before and this would suggest that there is actually a specific point on the laptop chassis that is perhaps rubbing and wearing on this cable. Uh, it's not an uncommon failure uh, but once you start pricing it up the cables come between about 20 and 40 pound depending on whether you buy a genuine or replacement cable. So if you're going through these at a sort of yearly or six monthly rate perhaps um, then it's going to start adding up to be quite significant money. Uh, so instead what I've looked at is a way of a fixing the problem with the existing cable and also making sure that the problem doesn't reoccur in the future with this cable rubbing against the metal. So to do this was actually quite simple in this case. Uh, the cable having put electrical tape across it to insulate it uh, was still okay for using the drive. Literally lifting the drive up so the cable was f away from the chassis prevented that worn little bit of trace from uh, contacting on the inside of the chassis and shorting. Um, so putting insulating electrical tape along that resolved the problem with reading from the disc and also then just I've then opted to put it the full length of the cable as we can see here and then also to run a strip on the inside of the chassis so that even if we put in a new cable and um, didn't have the insulating tape on the cover it wouldn't be rubbing against this uh, metal surface and hopefully will prevent the machine from having any further issues. Um, I hope you found this useful anyway it was a, a very quick simple fix it meant no waiting for a new cable to be delivered it hopefully means the problem won't reoccur in the future and it's also a significantly cheaper fix than having to replace that whole cable again. Um, if you found this useful be sure to check out other videos on our channel and uh, I hope this works for you.